Hi guys, today I'm going to share my two week menu and my Trader Joe's and Costco haul. It's going to be a little interesting with dinner because basketball just started and there's way more practice and games when you are in high school and we live much farther away from the school now. Um, so I did my best with planning but I'm going to have to kind of see how it goes if you know we have time to eat or if we need to just grab something but I did my best and I did plan some slow cooker meals so hopefully it'll work out fine. Okay let me go ahead and jump right in. Any recipes that I have recorded I will link in the description box for you guys in case you want to try them. So today we are having pesto chicken tacos with rice. I have cheesy tortellini with meat sauce and salad, lentil soup and salad, my awesome baked chicken with roasted garlic and parmesan potatoes and Brussels sprouts, pasta fajol, garlic breadsticks, and then on Saturday we have a family dinner. On Sunday I was going to do a pot roast, I've been wanting to do that, but they didn't have any at Trader Joe's, so I ended up getting tuna steaks, so we will grill those and have different sides and everything. Uh, next Monday, I have spinach lasagna roll-ups, garlic bread and salad, Creole chicken and rice, Hungarian goulash with egg noodles for my guys, and then gluten-free pasta for myself, and peas. Next Thursday is Thanksgiving, and next Friday, we'll go out for Josh's birthday. And then I have Salisbury steak with mashed potatoes and green beans, and then Santa Fe chicken with rice. I just wrote down a few things that I plan to make this week. I usually just keep a stocked pantry and bake whatever I feel like it and I make granola bars and things like that. Sometimes I make granola, but I wanted to make sure I had the ingredients for these things. So I was asking my guys what they wanted for lunches and they really like English muffin pizzas, which are incredibly easy to make. So I'm going to make those probably next week. And I was thinking that I was going to do grilled chicken wraps with hummus, my guys thought that those sounded pretty good but while I was at the store I thought they would really like grilled chicken Caesar salad wraps instead because they really love the salad and they agreed that they would like that so I'm going to make that and then I'm also going to make my roasted pepper stuffed with quinoa and I'll be showing all of this in my what's for dinner videos over the next couple of weeks so I might show how to make a few things or link recipes below for you. Here's everything from Trader Joe's. I did want to mention I was at Trader Joe's today and they have sriracha chips if you are a sriracha fan like me. I almost bought them but then I was talking to the cashier and the person who was bagging my groceries and asked if they had tried them. And they were like, oh they're really good, let me go grab a bag and open them for you and you can try them. And they are really good, so I might pick those up next time. I just wanted to let you know in case you go to Trader Joe's. Also, they will open anything and let you try it there, which is awesome, especially if you don't live close to a Trader Joe's and you are kind of wondering about something and you want to try it, but you don't want to waste your money. They'll open it for you, so you can always ask. They're awesome at Trader Joe's. That's why it's one of my favorite stores. Okay, groceries. <laughs> I got some French vanilla coffee. I've been buying that pretty much every time I go to Trader Joe's lately. I picked up a bunch of Cliff Bars for Josh to keep in his locker because they have a good amount of protein and they aren't too bad. I think a lot of the ingredients in them are organic, but he has basketball practice after school some days, and he does pack a lunch, and he also packs stuff to eat after school just on a regular basis, but I figured that way, you know, he's a teenager, and if he goes through all the food he brought, at least he has something in his locker, and it has a little bit of protein, so we'll see how that goes. Like I said, it just started today, so hopefully that'll work out fine. I got some gluten-free pretzels. I love pretzels, and it's one thing that I missed since I had to start eating gluten-free, and the cashier said that these are really good, so I'll give them a try. I think they were $2.99. Gluten-free stuff tends to be kind of pricey, but I got some crisp rice cereal for making granola bars. I got some green lentils for my lentil soup. 
I'll have that recipe linked below. I'll have all the recipes that I mentioned in the description box. I got two bags of cheese puffs, two bags of cheese crunchies. These are really, really good. My guys love those. If someone opens the bag, they're like gone in like a minute. Everybody just sticks in. I got two things of whole wheat bagels. I asked John and Josh what they wanted for breakfast and they wanted bagels with cream cheese. So that's what I got. I got the English muffins. Well, they say British muffins, which I think is kind of funny. What what do you guys in the UK call these things? Maybe you call them British or English muffins. But I make some little pizzas on those. My guys like those. My mom used to make those uh, when I lived at home. So that's where I got the idea. I got some gluten-free bread. I have been eating toast with an egg on it for breakfast now that it's a little bit cooler just mixing up my breakfast a little bit so I got more of that the Trader Joe's brand of gluten-free bread is my favorite and then I like to keep this in my pantry just because sometimes I switch up what I had planned for dinner so it's the brown rice and quinoa pasta and they had one of my favorite things at Trader Joe's candy cane green tea this stuff is so good and if you have been watching me for a while you've probably heard me mention it but it's really really good i got these i do make granola bars and do a lot of baking but these are also for my boys to keep in their locker i got the strawberry and the apple and that way you know if they're hungry they have a snack so it's not anything that's going to go bad if they don't eat it in a week or anything so they can just keep it in there I got two things of whipped cream cheese for the bagels organic sour cream for the Santa Fe chicken John loves sour cream on that so I wanted to make sure I didn't forget to get that I got some dish soap the Caesar dressing to make those wraps I'll let you guys know if I remember how my boys like those but they were pretty pretty uh, excited about the idea or at least they thought that they were sounded pretty good I got another can of garbanzo beans I had one in my pantry for making hummus got garlic powder basil thyme and cumin both were all of the spices that I was that I ran out of I got some organic onions I was out of onions for Roma tomatoes for the pesto chicken tacos tonight. The tomatoes at Trader Joe's, I noticed they don't last a long time, so I I just needed a few for now. And then I try to remember to mention this, but I don't I sometimes forget. I do go to the grocery store in between my Trader Joe's and Costco hauls and get produce and whatever we need from there. Sometimes they just don't have everything at Costco or Trader Joe's. So I do have the grocery store in between. I got some celery for the lentil soup, carrots, Brussels sprouts. I got beef broth for the Hungarian goulash. I got two boxes of mini beef tacos. I asked the kids, what do you guys want that you can make? And this is what they ended up asking for. So I just picked those up. I got quinoa for the stuffed peppers that I'm going to make for my lunch. A bag of organic lemons for my water. Tuna steaks. I got two packages. Um, I can't wait to have these. I had tuna steak on vacation a couple times and it was so incredibly good. So I want to make sure I make it really well. So... Yeah, hopefully it turns out really good. I got some ground turkey. The Salisbury steak that I make is ground turkey and ground beef. It's actually a recipe from Skinny Taste, I'm pretty sure. I'll, I'll link it um, below. I'll look for it and link it, but it's really, really good. I got coconut shrimp for my guys just to kind of mix it up. Sometimes, you know, on Saturdays or even after school, they, they like stuff that they can just throw in the oven. Christian loves these mozzarella sticks from Trader Joe's. So if your kids like mozzarella sticks, he thinks those are awesome. And John loves these arancini bites from Trader Joe's. So I got those. Here is everything from Costco. It gets dark so early. What I have been doing is going to Costco and Trader Joe's because it's in a different direction than my boy's school. And then I bring all the cold stuff home home and put it in the fridge and freezer 
really quickly and then go get my boys and then they carry everything in for me so that I don't have to carry all of this food in by myself and that way I can just pull things out of the fridge and freezer to record the haul and it makes it a lot easier so I'm not rushing to do all of this and then put it away and then go get my kids. So it's a little bit dark outside but hopefully the lighting is okay so you can see everything. I got some English cucumbers. I got three I think these are two pound bags or three pound bags, three pound bags. I forget that every single time I do all, but I freeze these for smoothies and I use them for baking as well. I got two dozen eggs. We've been going through a lot of eggs lately. I got a six pack of peppers. I'm going to do those quinoa stuffed peppers and they only had a six pack, but I freeze peppers sometimes too, so I might do that. I got this flat out bread for my guys' wraps. I was looking for something pretty decent and it didn't look too bad. Um, I just have to go with what we have available and what they will eat. So there, it's an 18 pack, so I might freeze some if they don't um, want those wraps two weeks in a row. I got two loaves of bread. I got some snacks. We did have some snacks left over, surprisingly, probably because I bought a ton of stuff that they could put in the oven and they were doing that. I still actually have some of that left from last week too. So you would think that with everything I bought, um, we didn't have any food in the house, but we do have quite a bit of stuff in the freezer and some snacks. So I got some kettle chips, some more veggie straws, and then I picked up these. I've never tried them, but I saw them the last time I was at Costco, the pasta chips, they kind of sounded like something my boys would like and then I got wheat thins. I was trying to mix it up a little bit but there's only so many things at Costco that my guys like. So Josh said, oh I'm so glad you got wheat thins. I love wheat thins. So I would get some good mom points there. <laughs> I got three bottles of orange juice and then I got two packs of apples. These are five and a half pounds each. I got Johnna Gold and Fuji. I got some baby spinach, a big bag of organic sugar, the cheese. Everybody requested the cheese. Well, Christian and Josh did, and I like it too. I eat it sometimes. And then I got these. I saw these when I walked in the door, and they match my large serving dish that I got from IKEA. They match perfectly. So I had to get these. These are great for side dishes um, or a smaller serving bowl. So yeah, I couldn't pass those up. I usually don't even look at all of the other stuff at Costco. I will eventually, but usually I just don't have time. So those caught my eye. I got some organic unbleached flour for baking. I got some black forest ham. John did really like that. If you follow me on Facebook, I asked for lunch ideas and we were giving each other ideas and you guys had some really good ones. So if you don't follow me on Facebook, that post is recent if you want to look through some lunch ideas for husbands. John doesn't like hardly anything <laughs> for lunch. Um, we're all kind of picky about packed lunches and I kept asking him, what about this, what about this, what about this? And he's like, no, 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 no. Um, and he was wanting me to try something different but he couldn't think of anything for me to buy so he said look for some you know different lunch meats that's all he likes <laughs> so I picked up this sliced beef at Costco and it seems like something he would like it's so hard because I don't like lunch meat and I'm the one picking it out so yeah anyway and I got some more black forest ham I'm going to do egg salad a couple times too and try to mix it up. There's not much I can do because he, he can't he has to eat while he's driving and he has no way to heat it up and he doesn't like pasta salad or um, sometimes wraps because it's not like a thick piece of bread. It doesn't fill him up and he doesn't like cold lunch meat or he likes cold lunch meat. He doesn't like cold meat like grilled chicken wraps or or anything like that. I thought of lots of ideas but he just doesn't like them so that was the best I could do but anyway if you want to see that post it's on my Facebook page I got a box of tomato sauce some 
of the fries. We go through those a lot too. My guys all wanted more chicken nuggets, so I got those. And I got two, what are these? Uh, they're like between three and four pound packs of chick organic chicken breast. Some will be for dinners and then also the wraps that I'm going to do for my guys' lunches. And then they'll eat the wraps. They were excited about the wrap. I got Kerrygold butter. I use a lot for baking. We have quite a bit left and I wasn't sure if I should buy it, but it's better to just have it on hand than to run out. I got some ground beef and then I got two boxes of vanilla and sweet and almond milk. So that is everything. Now I have to put it all away and make dinner and wash produce. <laughs> but oh well, it's good to have food in the house, right? Thank you so much for watching guys.